नमस्कार अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल योगा विद कुकिंग एंड दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट फॉरवर्ड वैल्यू फैट सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस द आसना विद द डायनेमिक फ्लो एंड इट विल हेल्प टू रिड्यूस द वैल्यू फैट आल्सो द एब्डोमिनल आल्सो स्ट्रेच द साइड एब्डोमिनल एंड इंक्रीज द स्ट्रेंथ ब्लड सर्कुलेशन एंड आल्सो योर डाइजेशन सिस्टम सो लेट गेट स्टार्टेड ओपन योर मैट वी आर गोइंग टू द फर्स्ट आसना प्रैक्टिस and it is called the tiriyak tadasana the most effective asana to stretch your whole entire body from toes to your whole arms your back of the head your neck also it is also great pose to increase the height and also you can do this posture whenever you start the yoga asana because this is also great pose to stretch your left and right side of your body so let's get start the practice first open your mat Take the half foot gap between your legs and open your legs hip width distance and side of your thigh. Then after, from your inhale now, raise the arms up, interlock the finger and turn your palm facing up toward the ceiling. Then after, from here, once you interlock the finger, then after inhale and bend your body towards the right and look front. If you're feeling any kind of the strain, so you can look down. Then after inhale, come center and exhale to the left side. Look front and either look down. Inhale, come back center and exhale to the right. And here is the two way to reduce the belly fat. So the first way is the dynamic way, and second way is the systematic way. So here we are going to the first dynamic way, which will help to increase the fire energy, which will help increase the heat in your body. Then after systematically, you can hold each side with a few seconds. This will help to reduce the belly fat, and you can see the so many benefits in your body. Then after right and left, once you complete the ten times with both the side, then after inhale to the right side and try to hold here few seconds. Look friend, open your chest and feel amazing stress entire your. left side of the abdominal also stretch the arms and make sure don't drop the shoulder always extend your arm and open your chest stay here for 5 second 1 2 and enjoy the pose 3 4 and 5 then after in here center then after same with the left side and hold again with the left side 5 second 5 4 3 and 1 inhale center the next zero release side of it this is the great pose to reduce the belly fat and make the shape in your body and at the same time if you want to stretch your side body reduce the side fat so this is also a great pose for you now here we are going to the next asana it is the forward and backward bending asana so here what you have to do the padha hastasana your distance according to the hips and side of your body then place your palms on the belly then after from here it will bring your elbow back and tilt your pelvis and raise your chest up rolling your shoulder back and down look up and sit your weight on your toes and tilt your pelvis Then after exhale and slowly, normally slowly bend forward. Then release your hands, fingers tip on the ground. If you are a beginner, so you can hold your ankle or you can place your palms above the knees. But make sure don't make the hyperextension in your knee. Always, if you have the hyperextension problem, you can try with the micro bend in your knees. Otherwise, if you are okay, so try with the knees straight. Then after inhale. Raise the arms up and raise the chest. Look up. Then after exhale, slowly bend forward and make sure don't drop your head if you are a beginner person. Inhale, raise the chest up and raise the arms. This will help to stretch your whole front body muscles and the back body muscles. This will also help to increase the heat. In the dynamic way, exhale, bend forward, 
also increase the forward bending and the blood circulation. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale. Inhale, raise the arms. Go back, arch your spine. Then exhale, bend forward. Now, on the last time, try to do five times. Inhale and hold here five seconds. One, two, three. Open your chest. Four and five. Then exhale completely. Bend forward. Then stay here. Five, four, three. And one exhale, head up. Inhale, raise the arms up. Then exhale, release your side off. Now, from here, we are going to the next asana, which is called the windmill asana. And it is a great pose also for twisting. It will also increase the your forward bending and also increase the twisting, your flexibility. At the same time, it will also help to reduce the belly and side body fat. So let's start. So first here, take the distance cross two and three feet according to your height. You no need to take the too much distance. You can check according to your height where you feel comfortable. Then after inhale, open your arms in line of the shoulder. Then exhale, first little lean your spine front. Inhale, twist your spine, hold your right ankle with your left arm. Lift your right arm up. Then exhale, change your side, left side. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. inhale, right, exhale, right. One time right side, one time left side. And make sure always use the breath. Don't try without your breath. Very good. And try to do here around 30 seconds with both the side. One time right, one time left. One time right, one time left. Once you complete the 30 times, then after hold your right foot with your left arm, lift your right arm up, then try to hold 7 to 10 count on the right side. Then after once you complete right side, then same thing with the left side, hold your right foot with your right palm, lift your left arm up. Then after exhale, center and so on the rest and slowly come. Now here we are going to the next asana which is called the triangle trikonasana and trikonasana is also a great pose for the stretching for the abdominal but those people who have the low pp problem so try a little careful don't force yourself you come anytime relaxation pose and if you have the bp problem so let's start the triangle trikonasana and also careful for those people who have the knees injury now first here open your legs cross two and three feet and hands on the vest then after from it open your right foot on the right side right toe point towards the right turn your left foot front then after slowly exhale raise your right arm towards the right side then after inhale extend your trunk towards the right always try with the proper alignment then exhale right palm on your right ankle or if you are a beginner, you can place your right palm on his sing bone. Otherwise, if you have the yoga block, so you can use the block support. Then after, open your chest foot. Find the balance. Bring the awareness in your front foot. And keep pressing the back foot into the mat. May your pelvis to be relaxed. Then after, inhale, lift your left arm. Then try to hold on the left side a few seconds. It is, we are going to now practice the systematically asana, the triangle trikona asana. And always remember, don't try the posture without alignment. It will help to less injury in your body. So try to always asana practice with the proper alignment. Gaze on your left thumb, then hold it around 10 seconds. Once you complete the 10 seconds, exhale, look down. Then after inhale, and slowly calm down. Then after, turn your right foot front, same thing with the left side. Open your left foot to the left side. Then inhale, stretch your trunk towards the left. Then after, from your left palm on your left ankle, and then lift your right arm up, arms to shoulders in one line. Look at the right palm finger. Then stay here 10 seconds. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, look down. When open, here comes center, turn your foot center, and release your hands. Then let's do it. Feet together, shake your thighs down. So this was the triangle. It is also the best pose to reduce the belly fat, also increase the blood circulation, and also for the digestive system. This is also great pose for the digestive system. Now we are going to hear the next asana, which is called the Utkatasana. And the Utkatasana, it is a great pose for the digestive system, also for the blood circulation, and also reduce the belly fat and the thigh fat. So how to perform the Utkatasana? So first take the distance in between your legs according to your shoulders level. Now from here look in the side way. Then from here inhale and exhale slightly bend your knees towards the front. But make sure always remember knee to toes is in one line. Lower the heel and roll the hips inward. Tuck the tailbone under. Maintain the back straight. Then after from your inhale, once you are ready, raise the arms up, Utkatasana. Then if you are a beginner person, so try with a little linear spine and maintain the spine straight and try to hold here 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then after slowly come my knees straight and exhale to the Samasthi. One more time we are going to Utkatasana and then this is the next second variation. And here we will use our shoulder part also. So from here inhale and exhale go down. And this time interlock the finger and squeezing the shoulders blade. Extend the arm and look up. And this time try to little arch your spine. And look up. Try to open your chest here and pull the navel in towards the spine. Look up just a few seconds. The Utkatasana variation. Then after exhale, knees straight and release your hands. Come. Move your hands and relax your legs and relax you. Now we will do here a few posture in the sitting asana. So the first asana. It's the Pashimottanasana, the best pose to your blood, the best pose for your blood circulation. Also, reduce your belly fat, increase the strength, and also it is great pose for the flexibility. So do with me here. First, move your little hips plus out, and uh, legs together, feet together. Then after first, to micro bend the knees. Inhale, raise the arms so Maintain the back straight. Then first, lean your spine, reach up to the toes. If you are a practitioner, you can hold the big toe, otherwise you can use the yoga belt support. Or if you don't have a belt, you can use any hanky, towel, otherwise you can hold your ankle. Then from here, inhale, straight your back. Then after extending your knees, knee. Then after from here, straighten up your knees, extend the heel, flex your toes in. Then after inhale, bend the elbow and try to touch your forehead on your knee. If you can't possible to touch your head on your knee, one more thing in case if too much pressure comes in your back, then always try to look front. Don't try to make the hunchback. So try to back straight and look front. Try to always maintain the spine straight and extend your knee. Let's stay here then a few seconds. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then after exhale, come back, raise the arms up, and exhale the palms on the ground. Shake your thighs and Now we are going to the next sitting asana, which is called a Marichi Asana. So here what you have to do first bend your right knee and place your right foot outside of your left knee. Then from here hug your right knee with your right arm. Inhale raise the left arm up. Then exhale set your left elbow out of your right knee. 
put your right palm behind of the spine and twist your spine low back. Try to twist your spine and create more space below the navel and flex the left toes in, look back. Then hold your 10 second one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then exhale, look front, release the left palm on the ground. Release the right leg on the ground, then same thing with the left side. Bend your left knee, hug your left knee with your left arm in, and raise the right arm up. Set your right elbow outside of your left knee, place the left palm behind of your spine, and twist your abdominal. Create more space below the navel, but always remember, don't lean your spine. Always your spine should be straight and look back. This is also a great post too for your digestive system. Also, those people who have the constipation problem, improve the digestion or reduce the belly fat. And look back. It is also a great post for the twisting. Look back and flex the right toes in. Hold your 10 second 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and one and exhale come back to the front release the right palm raise the left leg on the ground then it is second time now ready for the last asana in the sitting which is called the purvottanasana and it is the inner counter position of the paschimottanasana it will also help to stretch your whole body whole front body also your abdominal your belly and also your whole legs and the pelvis chest part so first here, place your palms side of the buttocks, drop your elbow on the ground, then place your palms where is your elbow, then after from your inhale, lift the pelvis up, chest up, and toes pointing, lift your head up, and look up. And try to stay or if you can possibly your toes on the ground, so it doesn't matter. Try to give your best and do according to your flexibility, then hold your 10 count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then exhale, release the buttocks on the ground, shake your thighs immediately. Then after palm side of your buttocks, elbow on the ground. Then we are going to the next asana for the belly. It is called, and this is also very important to increase the strength and stamina. Also, will make the strong core and also reduce the belly fat. So how to do the Padottanasana? So inhale and raise both the legs up in a vertical direction. But make sure, sacrum on the ground, palm side of the vertex, feet flat upward. Then first hold it in the Purvottanasana, 10 count. 1, 2, 3, and engage the quadriceps, engage the core, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now from here we are going to the variation of the Purvottanasana. So what you have to do here, first move your right leg front, but don't touch your right foot on the ground. Inhale up, left leg down. Exhale, inhale. Then try to do this exercise around 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Then after exhale, come center, bring in close to the chest. Then after the next asan, the cycling asan. asan. So from here, rotate your knees in the clockwise around 10 to 15 seconds. Once you complete the 15 seconds, then after empty clockwise. Then after legs on the ground and lay down back. Then after ready for the last asana, say to one asana bridge pose, hold your ankles, separate your legs according to the shoulder, and roll your shoulder back, and slowly fix your foot, and lift the chest and spine up in a diagonal way, squeezing the glutes muscles, lift your chest up higher, then after exhale, release your spine, and your vertex on. Then second time inhale, 
Lift the chest and spine now. Squeezing the glutes muscles. Then after exhale down. We will do here only five times. But if you have the time, you can do around ten times. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Then the last time, inhale. Lift up and try to hold here ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 and 10 and exhale release the spine, vertex on the ground, open the legs, fingers are open and relax. So as now the dead body pose. Relax your forehead, face muscles, every single muscle of your body. This was our 20 minute sequence for our belly fat. Whenever you start the practice of this sequence, so you can do morning and evening time whenever you want. But always remember, try to do all this practice with the empty stomach. Don't do the practice just after the lunch or dinner. Always take the gap in between your practice around 90 minutes. If you are new here, so please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And please share this video who need this. And see you in the next video. Namaste.